Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another lovey-dovey plan with me to share with you all. And this week, well, this time we are planning for the week of February 5th to February 11th. So the week before Valentine's week, <laughs> not just day, and I'm using the Together Kit from Scribble Prince Co. Using the lovely artwork from Jessica or Kittenish Girl Plans. It's absolutely beautiful and I love the two couples in it. They're so cute and hashtag yay diversity. So for this week I tried something different. I full-blown loved the way that Andrea did her washi. I think it looked so pretty with just the colors of this kit, so just like the colors of the washi, and then just kind of how it looked, and it wasn't just a square chunk of washi. So she lent me some, well not lent, she gave me, I'm not giving this back. Imagine I had to pull it up off my planner. But she lent me some of her sacred Simply Gilded Bow Washi that matched this kit perfectly. And we wrapped it around the only piece of plastic we could find. Um, so I used that and then I'm just whiting out the top like bits of black ink that you can see towards the bottom boxes. And now I'm just lining this up. I whited I white it out up to the the third line, the third little dot that I normally use, and then I just placed the washi down, and then I took a little bit of the spare washi and measured it out against the height of the thick piece of washi that comes with the kit, and then I just used my slice tool to cut down the middle, and that's how I got the piece of washi to put on the bottom of the Simply Gilded washi, if that makes any sense. You'll see me doing it, but I just thought I would explain it since it's not something that I normally do, but I'm kind of in love with this, but um, I was going to say I'm not going to go ham buying bow washi like Andrea and Viv, but if I ever need any washi or feel like I want to do this with another kit, um, Andrea will kindly lend me some more, I hope. The, the kindness of her heart, if it's not too limited edition. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I do leave a little bit of space between the bow washi and this strawberry, like chocolate covered strawberry patterned washi. And then I'm just gonna go ahead, put down my full boxes, my glitter headers, and then I'll be back to do the sidebar. Okay, so this time I actually remembered to do the deco and put in the little flags. So instead of using any of the quote boxes that came with the kit, including the extra one, I decided to go with the box that had the sort of love balloon in it. I just, I know I've seen this in like every kit. This is also in my kit for next week, but I just really love that graphic for some reason. So I decided to use that as a... Thoughtful, thank, thoughtful thankful. I love using these for the thoughtful thankfuls. So after my thoughtful thankful box, <laughs> I'm grabbing the two habit trackers as always, one for washing my face and one for taking my vitamins. And then I'm going ahead and straight away using the mini icons that come in the kit to put on the sides of those habit trackers. And then this week I meant to start um, Prisoner of Azkaban from Harry Potter. I actually didn't start reading it until tonight and it's a uh 
like getting like to like the bigger books. It's not that much bigger than the first two, but um, I knew I wouldn't get it done this week anyway, just because this week was absolutely crazy. I was working a lot and then I was coming home and basically like continuing to work because I needed, I didn't need to, but I wanted to finish up the kit that I was working on, which I did. And it's absolutely beautiful, guys. Like, I mean, it took hours and hours, but I love how it came out. Andrea worked her magic on it and it's just so stinking pretty. So anyway, for the Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban reading for the week, I used the light pink kind of, let's call it light pink, light nude, um, glittery half box. And I put a Coffee Monsters Co. Harry Potter um, book emoji, not emoji, um, like doodle inside. Next, I wanted to put down a to-do list. So I took a to-do, um, what is it called? To-do header in that gold color. And then I put it on top of one of the marble with the gold flex piece of washi. And then I left a little bit of space and put down the ombre box in the same color as the header. Then after that, I left a little bit more of room. I put down the hot pink work header and then the fancy schmancy appointment label that comes in the freebie of this kit along with a piece of washi at the bottom. And I am doing that whole white space sidebar. And like I've been saying every single week since I started doing this, it's really my favorite. And this will be the last week that I say that because I'm pretty much sticking to it and I'll bring it up if I don't do it. But I just really, it takes up a little bit more space. I usually don't have a lot to put in my sidebar, but it takes up a little more space. I mean, I guess washi took up a lot more space. I don't know. Like I always say, it looks a lot cleaner this way and I really like it. So then I'm going ahead and just filling out the habit trackers, my half pucks, and my to-dos along with my little work fraction. I saw a comment that said someone was wondering about my little work fraction and I thought that was really cute. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and fill that out. After filling out my sidebar, I'm going ahead and placing down all my TV little things. And actually for next week, I am going to take all my TV little things out just because I find that I'm not keeping up with a lot of the shows um, like on a weekly basis is what I'll do is like, I'll remember like, oh, a lot of episodes came out of like Jane the Virgin and the season just ended. So I'm going to go and like stream it somewhere and like binge watch it instead. Same with like Keeping Up with the Kardashians and shows like that. I haven't been able to catch like The Amazing Race and for some reason I can't watch it on CBS. So I haven't been watching that either. Um, the only show I really watch when it airs are America's Next Half Model and RuPaul's Drag Race. But still, I feel like I remember when those come on, not because they're in my planner. Plus, sometimes I feel like the TV little things take up a lot of space. So I feel like there's just so much going on that I need um, more space for to-dos that I need to remember than TV shows that I don't watch on a daily basis, especially this week. This week was absolutely crazy, not only with work stuff and not only with drawing, but I had like a lot of things that I just needed to get done around the house every day. I've been so like tired and just like cranky, like in a really bad like mental headspace. I don't know, but I mean, looking like, let me explain it this way. The first half of the week felt like one week, and then the second half of the week felt like a completely different week. Like, that's just how long this week felt. I was posting pictures of the Hello Love spread from the week before, and I'm like, how am I still posting these pictures? Like, am I not on a new week yet? I feel like it's it's been longer than a week. But yeah, so after I put down my TV little thing, sorry for a little tangent, I take my Little Miss Papery glitter work labels, and I'm just mix and matching um, purple colors, magenta colors, and some yellow ones that look kind of like gold. So I'm going ahead and doing that. And then as always, just sticking in the little payday flag that comes with the freebie along with any of the dollar sign looking icons right next to it to mark payday, if I didn't already say that. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to Monday. So on Monday, I don't remember what I did. I probably should have had my planner with me. Let me go get that and I will have it in a second. 
All right, so on Monday, I used a Coffee Monsters Co. coffee emoji to mark that Ryan and I went on a 7-Eleven breakfast adventure. Early on Monday morning, we went to work. Well, I went to work an hour earlier than I normally do because Ryan was driving me because, 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 because I left my car at work the day before because Andrea drove me to her house for the Super Bowl and then Ryan drove me back because I was too lazy to be dropped off at my car. I just didn't even want to drive at all. So I was like, Ryan, just take me to work the next day and then I will drive home. So we ended up going to um, 7-Eleven. He went to get some sodas for work and then I saw the coffee and I was like, I need more. So I got that and I just wanted to mark that. Then I watched Chamber of Secrets finally since I finished reading the book the week before. So I marked that using a Coffee Monsters Co. label with the little, the little flying Ford Anglia. So cute. Then I took out the glitter header and used the same peachy nude pink color in the half box plus a matching gold foiled bow from Clever Gal Crafts to mark the mountain of to-dos that I needed to get done. Uh, there was a lot of to-dos from the week before and just things that I had to get done on Monday. It was just bananas. I got most of it done, but it was it was a lot, and I thought it would just be on Monday that I had this long list of to-dos, but no, it kind of became the theme for this week. So after that full box, I put down a little car icon to mark that Honda was due, my little, my little Honda car bill, and then I used a purple what is it, film slate icon, mini icon that came with the kit as well to mark that I wanted to publish this plan with me. It did go up late because, like I said before, Super Bowl. And then after the little mini film icon, I used a Coffee Monsters Co. sort of half box situation of a planner desk because I still hadn't planned for this week, so I wanted to get that done and then do all the planner related things I needed to do to get last week's plan with me up. And then I went ahead and just filled everything out. Moving on to Tuesday, I already filled out my work hours, so I grabbed this emoticon from Coffee Monsters Co. that was super duper angry because I wanted to mark that there was really ridiculous traffic in the morning, and I feel like Austin's kind of known for its ridiculous traffic, so the fact that it was worth marking in a planner how awful it was kind of tells you how awful it was. Also, I wanted to mark it because I needed to take up some room because I didn't have enough things to put in. But I feel like if anything that day was worth marking, it was my sheer anger over traffic. Plus, I also made a Starbucks run. Like, I left early that day because I wanted to go to Starbucks. So by the time I got to Starbucks, I was like, this was so needed and it was delicious and perfectly made. So I was like, I guess this is good. So after, naturally, after the mad traffic emoji, I grabbed a once more with love munchkin, like holding a little Starbucks coffee cup and marked my little Starbucks run. Then after the Starbucks run, I grabbed these Scribble Prints Co. multicolor, uh, what are they called? Flight tickets? Tickets. Flight tickets? What are they called? Airline ticket? They're not called airline tickets. Flight ticket? Why do I not know what these are called? They're not flight trackers, but what are they called? Plane tickets. Oh my god, why did that take so long to get? But these plane tickets in the purple, and I had originally wanted them behind something, on something, like on a label or on that little thing, but then I ended up deciding that white space works best for me, so I just placed it down and wrote booked flights with my sister. We booked our return flights home from Disney. I booked her flight to Disney, and then she 
booked her flights to come see me in Texas in April. So I'm super excited and really wanted to mark that. Then after marking the flights, I went ahead and went to the bottom and kind of popped like plan from the bottom up because I wanted to use a half box and I just wanted to see how much room I needed. I wanted to mark that I had this like really big Degrassi binge. I think I got through maybe half a season and this is like the later seasons like season 11 and 12 where every episode is a two-parter so there's like 44 episodes and I got through like half of a season. So I used a little emoji watching TV to mark my Degrassi binge and then I used a piece of washi and the glittery hot pink half box along with a fox and cactus face mask lily to mark that I had like kind of some me time taking a bath and like putting on a glittery face mask. Love that glittery face mask so much even though it kind of burns my face a little. But just like I needed to unwind and relax and because I was getting anxiety that I wasn't continuing to draw um, the kit that I needed to for Scribble Burns Co. because I was just so overwhelmed with life. This week it can just be defined by being overwhelmed with life. But it ended up looking so pretty. So you could, unless you're like looking at all the little details, you can't really tell. It just looks like a beautiful week. <laughs> Now on to Wednesday, I went ahead and grabbed a munchkin holding a camera to mark that I wanted to film my mini haul that I had meant to last week. And then I felt grimy that whole day on Wednesday, so grimy to the point that I was about to just go home like early from work to go take a shower. That's how gross I felt. So I felt the need to mark that I needed to take a shower. <laughs> Such a weird thing to mark, but um, I'm telling you, it's the kind of week it was. So I used a fox and cactus girl washing her hair, and then I ended up writing shower, you filthy animal, because I figured at least make it funny and don't just write in that you showered, because it's, it's like, slow clap, way to go, you showered. And then to mark that I wanted to fold my laundry, I used another fox and cactus, like, big mountain and pile of clothing. There's a little hand peeping out, and then it said, help me but I did cut off the help me part just to save some room. I feel bad. I feel like I'm always cutting off the words from Fox and Cactus stickers. It's super cute, but I'm just always trying to save a little bit of space. So after that, I grabbed a purple label and this other Fox and Cactus mermaid with the pink and yellow ombre hair. I thought it was perfect for this kit because it matched the colors spectacularly. And the mermaid on the laptop I used to send tax things to my mom because she's getting her tax lady to do my taxes because I can't fucks with that. So thanks, mama. You're not watching this, but thank you for getting that done for me. And then the last thing for Wednesday, I used a Clever Gal Crafts, uh, what is it called, page flag with the gold dot sprinkled on top plus the draw sticker that Andrea made, especially for me in that script to mark that I got a lot of illustrating done for the rest of the night. Now we're moving on to Thursday. On Thursday, I went into work really, really late. Um, not really late, but usually I'm in by 9 o'clock, and I didn't go in until 12.45, like 1-ish, just because I was exhausted. I'm telling you guys, I really needed it to sleep. Um, sleeping even for like an extra hour made me feel so re-energized so I'm glad I did that and then I decided that I would just go into work later than usual and got some stuff done so I edited my haul in the morning and I used this Coffee Monsters Co. Munchkin, not Coffee Monsters Co. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm getting everything confused. I used this Munchkin cutting up some film to mark that I wanted to edit the haul. Then I used an emoji holding a box of chocolates to mark that I wanted to pack um, some Valentines for my mom and my sister. They don't watch these videos, so I think I'm in the clear, but also they probably kind of know that I'm sending them something. Then I used the sparkly nude pink uh, label, I'm sorry I'm saying uh so many times, but nude pink label with a munchkin and a spray bottle on top to mark that I wanted to wash the dishes because I woke up to a mountain of them and it was just ridiculous and I needed, I needed to get rid of it ASAP. So after that I needed to mark that I wanted to take out the recycling plus that I wanted to focus on Instagram comments. So I was trying to figure out a way to put that in and I was doing every combination 
of whatever sticker but then ultimately I decided I need to get rid of that glitter header because Thursday was basically just a long list of to do's and things I needed to get done. So I whited out the little dots in between and then I grabbed the yellow gold label, put that underneath the other label and then used the emoji holding the Instagram icon and put that on top. I think I meant to put the trash icon on top, that's why you see me kind of rattling my fingers, but I liked the way the emoji looked there. So I left it and then instead of using that mini icon that comes with the kit, I end up grabbing another emoji that's holding um, a recycling bin and use that underneath the Insta comments one. I use a little, little, little baby one. And then after the recycling emoji, I grabbed a munchkin holding a giant cup of coffee to her mouth and just sitting and chugging it. I used the same pen that I was using for all the little check boxes that I was filling in to kind of cover, not cover, but color in the sleeve of the coffee cup just so it matched the kit better with that purple. I think this one was, oh wait, oh, I was like, I think it was purple and I'm like, why did I color it in? But I had already colored it off colored it in off camera and wrote late night Starbucks run because Ryan and I both worked that sort of later shift and we were there for a while and we were tired so I went on my break and got us some Starbucks to help us make it through the rest of the night. On Friday I could not believe that I had actually made it to Friday because seriously I was waiting to take a day off I'm like there's no way I'm working 45 hours in this week I literally didn't think I could do it but somehow I managed it and went home and worked some more by drawing so I'm using the same Clever Gal Crafts page flag I keep wanting to call it bow washi I don't know why but I took the Clever Gal Crafts page flag the same one that I used on that Wednesday plus the draw script to mark that I drew pretty much the rest of the night. I got home after doing some chores here and there, which included vacuuming. So I grabbed the vacuum sticker from the kit. It was on the sampler to mark that I wanted to vacuum the floors because my hair was all over the place and then there was crumbs from food everywhere and it was just like skeeving me out. Then I used underneath that a munchkin holding a purple phone to mark that I FaceTimed my friend Carla for a little bit. I marked it originally even though we had only like talked for maybe 10 minutes. I was actually FaceTiming her while I was writing all of this in but then we ended up talking for two hours which is usually kind of what happens with us and we could have kept going but we physically had to just stop ourselves and save some stories for the next time. And then in the top portion of Friday, I went ahead and used a Mandy Dreams hot pink film, like glitter film slate to mark that I published my haul. And then underneath that, I used a Fox and Pip blonde girl eating a pizza, like a pizza pizza, a pizza pie. A what was I trying to say there? Basically, it's a Fox and Pip pizza girl. And I wanted to use that to mark that I ordered myself an entire Papa John's pizza. I didn't eat the whole thing in one sitting. But I told myself if my chicken didn't defrost, then I was ordering a pizza. And I came home and the chicken was not defrosted. So I ordered myself a pizza. I didn't want Papa John's originally. I wanted a really good, like, what was it called? Brooklyn Pie Co. I wanted that. But they wouldn't deliver to me. So I got Papa John's instead after watching a commercial. So good on advertisements because it really did get me there. Saturday was another super busy day for me. So I knew right away that I needed to get rid of that hot pink glitter header. Most of the day I did spend drawing and I finished up that kit maybe around 10 o'clock at night. But I used that same Clever Gal, I don't know why I can't say it, Clever Gal Crafts page flag and that draw script. Then I needed to go to the post office to mail out my Valentines for all of my out of state Valentines and Galentines. Plus, I needed to pick up a bunch of bow washi for Andrea from her P.O. box. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And I used a Fox and Cactus Lily with her purple dress, which this is the first spread I think she actually fits in perfectly with her little heart eyes that I thought were perfect for Valentine's Day. So I used her to mark my little post office run. Then I used a mini 
what is it called, package icon from the kit to mark that I got my station stickers order in the mail, which was the rose gold foiled Hufflepuff kit. This whole watching and reading Harry Potter thing has gotten me on my kick. And then I think I spent Tuesday night a good hour on a Pottermore just rereading about being a Hufflepuff. I'm just so proud to be a Hufflepuff. So I got that kit in the mail and I'm super excited to use it in September. It's gonna be really good. But anyway, the next thing I do is cut up one of the mini ombre heart checklists that comes on the functional sheet. I used the lighter colors on the top to make a little makeshift to-do list or kind of just like a checklist of things I know I needed to get done. The first one being to finish this gosh forsaken kit that's so beautiful but my god did I want to throw my iPad out the balcony and then uh, what did I want to write oh and then to Dropbox the files to Andrea which I ended up doing around 12 30 a.m on Sunday so yeah but I was super happy that I had gotten that done. So after that mini checklist, I grabbed the munchkin on the laptop from the freebie that came in this kit to mark that I needed to reply to YouTube comments, which I didn't get to this weekend, but I will get to today along with all the lovely comments from this video. Then after the munchkin, I put down another one of the glam planner teenies in her closet organizing things and I use that to mark that I needed to organize my closet because I didn't do it last week and uh, it, to no one's surprise I didn't do it this week either but hopefully I get that done today. Two simple little to do's that I need to get done so hopefully that happens and then after that I grabbed a piece of washi plus a what is it called a quarter box and another glam planner teeny in her like princess bed reading a book to mark that I wanted to read. So to no one's surprise, once again, I didn't end up doing that, so I undo that whole little stick collage and replace it with a new one with a brand new piece of washi and that same yellow gold color just in the non-glittery quarter box to mark that I ended up spending the whole night watching the Winter Olympics, especially, specifically the figure skating. I've always loved the figure skating just because... I think it's the sound of the skate hitting the ice. I know that sounds really strange, but I think that's what I like. Plus, after seeing I, Tanya, I really wanted to watch the Olympic figure skaters for some reason. I didn't have any specific sticker to mark the Olympics. I had specific ones from Mandy Dreams for the Rio Olympics from, was it 2016? I think it was 2016. Was it before that? I don't know. But it was the Rio Olympics and they had the little rings on them. So stickers of the little rings, but I have no idea where that sticker sheet is. So I ended up drawing my own little rendition of the Olympic circles on them like a sticker sheet with gel pens and um, I was trying really hard not to smudge it all so here I am trying to open up the sticker with my slice tool. This is the handiest thing I ever did use. So I took that and placed that inside the quarter box really carefully and then pressed it down with my pen gem pen because it wasn't sticking. So that was finishing up Saturday. Then on Sunday I spent the day with both Raverts like on little individual occasions throughout that day. So the first thing I marked on Sunday was actually planning from the bottom up. So I moved that teeny in her princess bed reading to the bottom of Sunday to mark that I wanted to read on Sunday night. And then above that I used a hot pink striped piece of washi plus the movie marquee that came with the kit to mark that Andrea and I went to go see Jumanji which was so stinking 
funny. The whole theater was laughing out loud. And then Andrea just laughed every time Kevin Hart was on screen. Well, Andrea laughed for Andrea. But it was so funny. I had to like refrain from just like goofing because it was so funny. At one point, one of the characters was peeing and they were in disbelief that they weren't Instagramming it. And I was just sitting there like, that's so me. So, so funny. So above that, I wanted to mark that I did plan for the next week. So I grabbed the plan next week label that comes with the freebie just to kind of knock it out. I was so tired that I figured any sticker would do. And then above that, I grabbed that peachy pink nude label and a once more with love pizza smiling with its little hands to mark that Nick and I went to go eat lobster pizza, which is bananas. It was really good. I can't say that I'll be craving it ever again, but it was pretty delicious. The other pizza pie we got, we got two pies of pizza. The other one was like a layer of pepperoni, cheese, and then more pepperoni, and then a slash of sauce at the top. That one was so stinking good. Although I ate a lot that like this day and I've been well, this day, like right now, I'm very burpy and I'm just trying not to burp in the on the voiceover. I have tea waiting for me, so I'm kind of excited to finish this up and go get that. But I think it's from all the pizza that I ate. Uh, tomato sauce does not agree with me and I consumed a lot of it. And then the last thing, but the first thing on a Sunday, I put in a, a munchkin illustrating. I also put one on a Saturday, but I didn't mention that to mark that I needed to draw one more thing for the kits that I drew to two, four, four, two, I feel like I'm only legally blonde, so that Andrea could put the whole kit together. So yeah, this is what the spread looks like in full. It's seriously one of my favorites this year. I just love all of the colors. You got your pinks in there, but you also have the purples and the golds. It's so, so pretty. And I was talking so much that you guys probably missed the part where I showed you that I used a pen gem to fill everything out with the Pilot High Tech C.4 refill inside. I always have that link below just in case I don't mention it. All that information is down below. Plus this Stardust Metallic Jelly Roll pen in a magenta purple to make check boxes for all of my to-do this week. To-dos this week. I don't know why I can't talk anymore. So yeah, that is everything I have for you guys today. I really hope you guys liked the spread and enjoyed this plan with me and I will talk to you next time. Bye!